Mr. Speaker, the Liberals are scheming to dramatically change the rules of this House to serve their own partisan interests. They want to shut the place down on Fridays and take a day off at the same time as tens of thousands of Canadian workers have been laid off. And the Prime Minister only wants to have to show up here once a week for question period. These changes will diminish Parliament and greatly reduce government accountability. Will the Liberals respect parliamentary precedent and only proceed with those changes that all parties will agree to? Or will they ram these changes through to rig the system in their favour? Mr. Speaker, this government recognizes the important work that members of Parliament do in this House and in their constituencies. As a member of Parliament for the riding of Waterloo, I can assure all members that when I return to the riding, I continue working hard for my constituents. I cannot speak for the member opposite, but I'm sure that most members will be doing the same thing, and I would encourage that to be the case. We have released a discussion paper, a discussion, a conversation to ask the committee to actually broaden the scope of their study to consider uh, modernizing this place as we committed to Canadians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Megantic Lerable. Mr. Speaker, it's shameful to cast doubt on the work of my colleagues uh, that my colleague does here. The government House Leader. Mr. Mr. Speaker. The government House Leader recently unveiled a document with proposals to modernize how the House conducts its business, and soon after, a similar motion was tabled at the Standing Committee for Procedure and House Affairs. Can the committee chair, the member for Yukon, please tell us when that study will take place? Can he assure us that the committee meetings will not happen in camera? And will he respect the idea of transparency and sunny ways from the Prime Minister? Honourable Member for Yukon. Mr. Speaker, as the member knows, the committee is the master of its own destiny. It has a subcommittee that decides the procedure and the timing. The member knows what's in the motion, the timing for improving uh, the operation of this House, and it'll be up to the committee to decide how they arrange the meetings to do that. The Honourable Member for Lanark, Frontenac, Kingston. Mr. Speaker, it's a long-standing practice that no major changes to the standing orders can be adopted without the consent of all parties. To pick one example among many, the Christian government established a special committee on House of Commons procedures. That committee produced six unanimous reports over its two-year lifetime. Therefore, can the chair of the Procedure and House Affairs Committee tell the House, will his committee accept the principle of unanimity with respect to changes to the standing orders? And a member for Yukon. Mr. Speaker, the, the committee, as I said before, is in charge of its own procedures, in charge of its own uh, uh, precedents, in charge of its own uh, way of dealing with different motions, and the, and the House, uh, the committee will decide that and, uh, and uh, proceed on that, on that, uh, in that manner. The Honourable Member for Lanark, Frontenac, Kingston. Right, Mr. Speaker, less than two hours after the proposals and standing orders were made public, a Liberal MP put forward a motion to, one, force the Procedure and House Affairs Committee to treat the proposals as a single omnibus measure, oh, and two, oh impose God. draconian oh, deadlines in reporting back to the House, in other words, to impose closure. It appears the Liberals are trying to ram through this motion at a secret in-camera meeting planned for 11 a.m. tomorrow. My question is for the Chair of the Committee. Number one, will the closure motion be dis scheduled for discussion at tomorrow's meeting? And number two, will that meeting be held in camera or in public? Mr. Speaker. Order. Order. Members want to hear the answer. They ought to listen. Or perhaps we'll go on to the next question. Well, let's hear the answer then. Madam Member for Yukon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The committee is very, the member is very experienced in committee operations and he knows the committee itself makes those decisions. 